Okay, this is 9409 Iron Sand Street. House looks great. The street is great. It's really nice and quiet out here. There's a common area straight down the end of the street, about a half block away. We've got some kids over there playing catch. There's a guy on roller skates or rollerblades or something. It's a beautiful day out here and the, the common area looks like it's really well maintained. That's nice. Before we go, Inside, I'll have a look around here in the exterior real quick. So, uh, looks like the property line's right about here, and there's a gate at the backyard, and that's been uh, paved with concrete. You got two garages out here. There's a two-car garage there, of course, and a one-car bay there. Here's the outdoor portion of two split systems. These are straight, cool, uh, condensers made by York. It's a good company. It's a good brand They're easy to get parts for and all of this installation looks really good. This is the outdoor portion of the air conditioning only There's gonna be an indoor portion of it. It's called the split system and uh, There's also gonna be two gas furnaces uh, And that equipment's located in the attic So we'll go inside So as you step inside, you got a door to the one car garage here and a nice high ceiling. This is probably a 30 foot ceiling right here at the entry. And um, it's a nice entry, it's good. So we have a quick look at this little one car garage, which is really cool. So this would be great for, uh, you know, the one car, one vehicle that, that the family uses most because it, you just back straight out onto the street. The other one, you gotta make a, 90 degree turn to get in and out. But uh, either way, it's no big deal. So there's, um, uh, you know, kind of an accent area here with um, on top of uh, a gray and white motif everywhere. And you can tell at the seams that it wasn't done professionally, but it's still pretty well done. You know, you see a few flaws here and there. There's, you know, you got a little paint that got across the masking there. Not a big deal. It's really well done, um, but you can tell it wasn't professionally done. The flooring is uh, glossy gray um, wood laminate, and it looks fantastic. You step down into a little sunken living room here. It's not very big, but the step down gives the ceiling uh, a higher feel. It probably takes it to about from uh, eight feet to about nine feet, I would think. Over here, they got this area set up as a formal dining area and uh, it looks like it works well that way. Um, there's right here on the ceiling, I don't know if you can see it on the video, but there's an area where there was uh, a repair of some kind, or maybe there used to be a lighting fixture there that was removed and patched. You also step down two steps into the uh, kind of family room kitchen area. And uh, in this area, there's ceramic tile. These large, looks like what are maybe like 16 by 24 inch tiles, ceramic tile with uh, charcoal grade grout. It's good. There's a gas fireplace over there in the corner. Uh, <laughs> in my experience, it's like one out of a hundred people use those, but our houses here in Southern Nevada, almost all of them still have gas fireplaces and nobody, and most people don't use them, to be honest with you. Um, there's a crack across the paint right here that's a normal, something we see uh, normally. Uh, they were usually refer to it as settling. The house was built in uh, 04, so you know it probably hasn't been painted in this area. Usually when you get the room updated and you paint it, they just mask over that and it's just a normal settling. What we look for as a, as a possible problem is when the, the cracks tend to zigzag at a diagonal as opposed to following the seam of two pieces of drywall. When you see it going on a diagonal or sort of zigzagging, then um, according to what I've been told, that might signal a structural problem. And uh, the one we see here is just a nice straight across. <clears throat> the cabinetry does not reach to the ceiling, so there's um, maybe some loss of storage space there. And the kitchen's not real big, but you got a pantry here uh, off the kitchen. And I would say, you know, standing here in the middle of it, you got maybe like 
seven feet of counter space here where the kitchen or where the sink is. And you got a probably eight to 10 feet here. And this is maybe 12 feet, 10 to 12 over here. It is a little bit cramped. It's a smaller kitchen, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's really prohibitively small. Um, what we, uh, what today's buyers are usually looking for a bigger, more counter space, more storage space and, um, an Island. And you could convert it in that way. There's probably enough space here to run this counter, uh, make those windows a little smaller and run this counter further down, take the kitchen out into here. That might make a big difference. Uh, it wouldn't be without its challenges though, cause you got plumbing and drain, uh, into, you know, uh, I think that goes into the sewer actually. So the fridge is included with the sale. Looks like it's in great shape. There's a half bath right here off the kitchen. There's a little, they've done some decorating here. Looks good. Here's the two car garage. And uh, this is nice. So there's, I see immediately when I come out, there's a water softener here. That's good because our water quality in Southern Nevada isn't too good and that'll help protect your appliances and um, your pipes. And the ceiling's high enough here that you can, you can include storage. Uh, most contractors will tell you that if you're gonna do this kind of thing, don't load it up with a lot of heavy stuff because it's not designed to carry that load. So, but shelves that don't hold a lot of weight are probably fine. We always look for the strap kit on the um, water heater because especially for FHA and VA buyers that will present a appraisal challenge, or a, sorry, a appraisal condition. And it really usually end up being just a a waste of time. I don't know what this cute little guy's name is, but he's super mellow. I've got a Pomerania at home, and mine's a lot less friendly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see the backyard real fast, then we'll go upstairs. So the backyard isn't big, which is good. There's less to take care of. Um, this one's set up with a aluminum um, awning, and it's it's really nice. It's high ceiling here. And um, it looks like the owner has included a, a screen here, a shade, so that may, perhaps this area gets hit by the sun pretty hard. There's a nice big shade tree growing here. You got a couple of lemon trees back here. That's kind of cool. In the winter, lemon trees in our environment will produce lots and lots of fruit. There's a small pool here. So this is kind of a glorified hot tub <laughs> but it's kind of kind of nice it's probably a lot cheaper to take care of it looks like it's in great condition there's a hot tub over there let's go look at the pool equipment real fast over here see what kind of see what we see let's see if we can get in here oh duh hang on oh shoot that might be locked um so Upon inspection, you'll be able to get access to that, but right now I got it locked. So I can see, uh, yeah, there's a, there's a pool heater back there. Big filter and blower and the pump. All the plumbing looks good from here. I'm standing about 20 feet away, it looks fine. The cool deck here looks great. Let's go inside. There's some built-in shelf here, shelving. Uh, looks nice, and it's probably great, uh, unless you got a, a much bigger TV. That looks like uh, 40 inches, probably. Maybe it's 50, I'm not sure. 40? Yeah, I'd say that's 40 inches. So there's carpeting on the stairs. So we go up. Don't see any signs of water stains or any kind of indications of any roof issues or anything like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's the master suite. That's a large king size bed there, so there's plenty of room in here. And there's kind of a sitting area off to the side. 
it's really nice. And then this opens up to a balcony that faces kind of east, which is wonderful. You'll be in the shade here uh, in the afternoons, which makes it usable for our, our environment because it's very hot in the summertime. And like I always say, the Western exposure, it comes through like a laser <laughs> in the afternoons. So uh, if that were facing west, it would be almost unusable in the afternoons in the summertime. But since it faces east, it'll be in the shade in the afternoons, making it a lot more usable. Here's the master bath. So you got dual vanities and big tub here, great big mirrors. Everything looks great. There's a shower, stand-up shower with tile all through there. That's nice. And it looks like there's two walk-in closets. Looks great. No, nothing out of the ordinary there. So in this closet, you got access to the, the attic here. And that's where you're going to find two um, gas furnaces hung horizontally in the attic. And, and in addition to that, it will also have the indoor portion of the air conditioner. So there's the toilet. Nothing out of the ordinary here, it looks fine. Okay. So here you got kind of an extra bedroom. There's no door on it. So this could be outfitted to be a bedroom. You could um, you could build out a, a closet pretty easily over here. You could add a door, but I think as it is, this is just kind of set up as a loft. And it's great. It's a nice big room, and uh, there's a lot of light. The shutters on the windows are pretty much throughout. It was even on the windows in the garage. That window doesn't have shutters, but almost everything else does. Here's the blue room. Yeah, painted a bright blue. And this is just kind of a smaller bedroom, like a 10 by 12. There's a bathroom, dual vanities. The same uh, cabinetry motif as uh, even the kitchen. It's, I think that's gonna be throughout. Here's the laundry. It's got a tile floor and we would expect to find a drain down in there underneath the washer. These appliances are by Samsung. Uh, they're included with the sale. And this looks really good. It's very clean. Everything's connected nicely. Everything looks safe. There's a, uh, this is probably gonna be plumbing. Yeah, so this is, uh, I think they call it, is it Kydex? I don't know. I don't remember the exact name, but this is, all the plumbing runs through these um, flexible, um, it's almost like a plastic. And each little area has a, has a, a turn off so that you can isolate. If you got a problem with the bathroom number two toilet, you could turn off the water just to the toilet. You don't have to go out and shut off the water main and shut down your entire house and fill it with air bubbles and stuff. You can just shut off that one toilet, have the work done that you want and come back and turn it on. Here's a little, uh, it's kind of like a wrench that attaches and you can turn them on and off. Some people love this. Other people who have had uh, leaks, which happens, leaks happen with any kind of plumbing, but there have been some complaints about people that think that uh, this kind of plumbing is um, not as good as traditional uh, copper or anything like that. Another small bedroom. This is a cramped bedroom, but um, you know, not every bedroom's gonna be large. This looks like it's being used as a guest room. It's pretty small though with this, uh, this angle kind of chops off part of the room. Here's a bigger bedroom. And, um, if I had to guess, I would say the carpet up here has been replaced recently. This is definitely not 2004 carpet, but there is some wear and tear. You can see a little, little high traffic area here, or maybe the dog's been scratching at it or something like that. But overall, the flooring throughout, it looks really good. The condition of the house is great. And um, this is a likable house. I, I have some clients who bought a house around the corner from here. They love living in this area of town. And um, what services in a commercial are available out here, everybody loves it. But uh, you are out on the edge of town. It, you are sort of in the path of growth, which I think is really good. 
and um, it's likely to continue to appreciate and fill out over the next 25, 30 years and really um, become a nice area of town. But the, the, uh, the criticism of this area would be that there, you have to drive into town to get to things which is true to some degree, depending on how you live your life and what, what things you want access to. So that's 9409 Iron Send. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.